Oh, hey, it's Rob. And I am disgruntled. So if you remember, I was going to be installing this Omada system with the controller, the router, and the switch. And I started putting it together. I didn't want to connect it to the actual uh, internet coming in line because I still have a live router up there. And I don't want to have, I don't want to disconnect that one and have no internet while I'm trying to get this one running. So the idea was to set this up offline and uh, get everything, you know, set up, partitioned, and ready to go, and then I could just swap it over. And while I was in the process of doing that, uh, it turned out to be a lot more complicated than I had originally assumed. All right. I apologize for all the noise. I'll try and do a little bit of cleanup on it, but you know, the air conditioner is running, ice machine is running. Uh, it's, I'm just in a noisy space. Uh, if you've ever worked IT, you probably understand why it's noisy. Um, anyway, problems that I had. Now, I, there are plenty of videos out there uh, t doing the Omada install. I am not an expert by any means. I was following those. And for the most part, they seemed pretty simple. But there was always this one step that was now enter the IP address of your Omada controller. <clears throat> so how do you find the IP address of the Omada controller? Well, you'd think maybe it comes to a default address, like a lot of routers go to one uh, 162.198. 0 0.1 or 1.1. Well, the controller isn't a gateway. The controller isn't a router. Um, so I found the router address at 192.168.0.1. I thought, fine, great. I go on there, I can look up and see what devices are attached. Sure enough, it's, it's there, it's 101. It's 168198, anyway, uh, 0 0.101, because it had started handing out I address is at uh, 101. It was great. Okay, so now I can access the controller. I can do the setup. Setup got more complicated than I was ready to handle. So I, uh, I and while I was in the middle of setting it up, my laptop completely locked up, uh, overheated. You know, it's, it was the old laptop, and I, I gave up. And I just let it run. You know, it was it was already hooked up. Everything was working fine. All things managed. Uh, it was great. Well, my new laptop came, and I decided it would probably be a good idea to get that set up. So I did a little bit of rewiring and, and ran the cable that we had run into the office uh, to the old router, the old Wi-Fi router. And I was able to get access online to set it up there, which was turned out just fine. And then once that was all set up, I swapped that cable back to the router or the uh, the switch where I had it before and I, st I entered the IP address of the router and there was nothing there was nothing responding so I started poking around and seeing what I could find and nothing was coming up the 0 0.101 wasn't coming up it, you know it was just all nothing there was nothing there so I, I uh, found a found a program online, yeah, kind of a cool program. I know you can't see that very well, but it's uh, the Advanced IP Scanner. It's available for free online, uh, and it turns out to be a really nice tool that will let you scan ranges of IP addresses on your network, and it will find things on your network. So I ran that on, this is the old laptop, by the way. I, uh, I took it apart, cleaned it out with uh, uh, with a blowgun, you know, got all inside it and just really blew it out good. I reseated the Wi-Fi card, and now it's working, and even the Wi-Fi card is working, so it's back to being a usable computer again, although it's, you know, several years old now, uh, kind of reaching end of life anyway. But here we go. I have TP-Link Technologies. Now, one of these is showing up as my is a desktop that's also showing up 
up here at a completely different address 169-254-209-124 I have no idea what that is made by Good Wave Industrial Company Limited I'm not entirely sure what that is I don't know if that might be the uh, um, from the ISP you know the, the fiber modem and a lot of the rest of the stuff is you know stuff that I know is on there that's from the wireless but these two, this 192.168.1.100 and 101, 101 should be the router. Because right now the router is the only thing on in that stack. Now, if you notice, it went from 192.168.0.1 to 192.168.1.101. And I have no idea why. So, and just a little about that oh yeah there's the website advanced IP scanner.com advanced dash IP dash scanner.com oh got more ice so all right let me get back to Chrome I'm gonna go here one dot one Oh, one and hit return and it's not secure that's fine I know what it is and continue to cite and it's not connecting so something is wrong and I don't know what it is but I'm beginning to suspect that I might have a bad router so I'm going to run this scanner again and I'm going to disconnect the Wi-Fi because I don't need to have it for what I'm doing so Wi-Fi is off I'm gonna do advanced IP scanner Oh, sorry, I'm gonna let's close that, and we'll do a rescan. So I already know. Wow. Okay, that's wild. Because it will let you do ranges. I'm gonna set this up. I have now set it up to do a scan of 192.168.0-20 and 1-254. to 254. So it's going to basically look at uh, 20, 20 subnets, or 21 subnets, I guess. So let us start the scan. And it's going to take a few minutes. So in the meantime, I should tell you some stories. But I don't have any really good stories to tell you. Can one ever be gruntled? I mean, what does that mean? I'm taking a quick look at the water system. You can see how humid it is. Um, condensation is forming all over the cold water. These are looking really good. They're pretty clear. I can blast them a little, but there's nothing hanging in the bottom. Uh, this has already been through one cleaning cycle. I did refill the salt. Um, so it's, it looks like it goes through probably, I don't know, almost a full bag of salt or most of a bag of salt every time it runs a cycle, which is 2,000 gallons. Um, and that's coming out, I think, about once a week or a little bit longer. So it's not too bad. I just have to get more salt, which, you know, kind of a normal thing when you have water softener this piece of crap has been off um, I should just take it out and get rid of it um, so there's the uh, the fiber modem and you can see how you know it's why I can't move this very far is because the, you know the fiber comes in and it terminates here so this isn't going anywhere um, it's all of this which I'm gonna have to try and wrangle at some point but you know it's not exactly high on the priority list right now there are more important things happening 
Oh, some of this wiring. <laughs> I really want to put in another, uh, like a separate box here, and then a uh, generator port. And probably have the plug go outside. I think this goes out under the uh, under the garage. So I'll have to investigate that at some point. All right, for any of you uh, network whiz type folks, I have my uh, my wireless turned off on the laptop. It is not plugged into any wired Ethernet other than the um, wire that's going to the router. The router is not connected to anything else. Why am I getting all of the IP addresses from everything on the network that's attached to the wireless router that I have going on? The two are completely separate. I don't understand how this can work. And if it's showing up, why can't I reach it? What is going on? I'm going to try pinging it. All right, destination host 1.15? What? All right, something else is going on here. Oh, okay, I, I didn't realize it. Uh, dot 15 is this laptop. So the laptop is telling me that um, 101 is not reachable. So uh, I am I am strongly confused. All right, after a little digging, uh, it was showing me every item that was uh, available when it did the previous scan and uh, I found a setting that would turn off it would show only the live connections so right now the only live connection that is on this network is this laptop and the router is not showing up would a router show up I should be able to re to reach the router at an IP address. That is something I should be able to do. But I can't find a live device on this network other than this laptop, which I know is live because I'm using it. All right, I put this together. I've got uh, the controller powered by PoE that is on port one over here. Port eight, I've got connected to the router. So the router is connected to the controller. Oh, no, so the router is connected to the switch, which is supplying power, and is connected to the controller. Yay. OK, so it looks like the basic power circuitry is working, and it looks like there's some communication. So let's run this scan again and see if we can find anything. All right, I have connected another computer to the router as well. And it should be showing me all the connected devices. The only one that's here is this laptop. I think that pretty much verifies that my router is toast. As Abraham Lincoln once said, well, shit. Uh, well, it's still, I mean, I only got it a few days ago, so it's a, it's a return and replace. So I guess I'll uh, package it up and send it back to Azon and get a new one and go through all this again, but hopefully more effective this time. The good thing is that the wireless access point, uh, I did get it configured, at least I started to get it configured, so it has, you know, two active nodes on it. And, you know, it's like one's a guest node. Doesn't do much good right now. But uh, the it is working with the Wi-Fi router. So we do have much more extended access and extended availability. I still have to reset that router every, you know, three days, two days. Which sucks. I and mean, it's, it's not a 
not a great router. All right, well, I guess we got that figured out, kind of, sort of, trouble shot, and, uh, I, you know, go from here. Now, I have tried to reset this router, it's just not working, so. All right, see you guys later. Well, one of the happy things is I ordered it through Amazon, so uh, getting a replacement is pretty easy. I mean, I just, I got it, I think it, like, it's been a week or something like that, so, you know, it's... It's not working, it's not working, I can get a replacement. So I got it all packaged up and ready to go.